I'm back again. This is what I do on a long shift on a Saturday. I, I upload manically. But I fluffed my hair a little. And I put on some makeup. Because I felt like a hot freaking mess before. I'm a terrible mixture of vain and insecure. It's bad. I wanted to come on real quick again and say that, um, you know, with all this talk of mental illness and bipolar and hypomania swings and all the things we go through who are in this club together, there are times when I think I'm really crazy, but then I go ahead and um, check out some other YouTubers and I realize, like, maybe I'm not that bad. <laughs> because at least I try very, very hard to be insightful and honest and... Um, have a little bit of like circumspectness and introspection. <coughs> Excuse me. My hair is like depressed today and I'm, it's falling out in clumps. God almighty. Never use Tresemme shampoo. I think I, I heard that from another YouTuber one time. It's like the worst shampoo. It just coats your hair and it makes it like go flat. Anyway, um, I checked out Chantal today. She's once again hitting her bottom whatever I'm gonna seek treatment lecturing us explaining to us somehow in a bizarre twist somehow it's our fault because like we enjoy her mukbangs or like you know she's marketing it to a certain crowd and like she manages to always do this shit and then lect lecture us it amazes me but uh, I wish her well um, I was amazed by checking out little snippets of her past couple days the mukbangs which I just think are gross. I enjoy a good meal as much as anybody, but you guys ain't never gonna see me sitting in a car with like a toddler feeding tray, eating copious amounts of greasy, it's not even real food, it's garbage, it's processed, it's like masochism food. How can I hurt myself the most in one meal and make it seem gleeful? Anyway, it just bothers me, especially with all the vegan talk and the bullshit. Um, nothing but greasy animal products. But I couldn't believe the way she was like romancing the food and how sad it must be to be like, to have a love affair with it. It's not unlike alcohol addiction. I've said that ad infinitum, ad nauseum. But I've never like batted my eyelashes at a drive through ordering window before. I mean, did you guys check that out when she was like, with her false eyelashes? Like, anyway, um, another point I wanted to make briefly is that in my line of work, being considered a PCP, a PCA, an aide, a DSP, there's all these initials for what I do, which is just helping people who need help in any capacity they need it. It, it gets low pay because it's considered low-rung health care. But in no way does what we do, like, in my opinion, is unskilled and it's, uh, and it's very hard work. What sucks, though, about... AIDS and CNAs and people that work in nursing homes and in group homes is that there really is such a bad reputation for us because of the people who slack off and who don't do the work and who abuse people and who just think it's like easy money or they want everyone else to do their jobs or they call out last minute or there are no shows or this morning you know somebody just like clocked out and said bye my ride is here and like left somebody with one staff in a whole group home and she was in the shower with somebody like it's stuff like that that just burns me that I'm considered like a low skill healthcare worker and I make terrible money and my daughter I mean she's a charge nurse she's a, she's an RN and she went through a lot of schooling and I don't take away any of her skill at all but I feel like physically my job is just as hard as hers and she makes $51 an hour. 51 That's so tacky to talk about that on here, isn't it? But, I don't know. I feel like I can talk to you guys about anything and everything. I am still battling my own food issues. I do feel kind of bloated and swollen and, like, I'm not really up weight. I just feel like I am. Like, my body feels heavy. But I think that's also because I'm under the weather. And, um, and I appreciate you, you guys, you know who you are when you say things like, oh, you still look really good even though you're exhausted. When I'm in my prime and, and when I'm taking care of myself and I'm on top of my game and my meds hopefully are gonna get straightened out and I get more sleep, I do look good and I do take care of myself and I look great when I lose a lot of weight. And I can say that without vanity. I think it's like a good thing to be confident. 
But right now, I'm not feeling, you know. I mean, I do the whole camera angle like this, but when I go like this, I'm like, you know. So I'm not trying to judge Amberlynn Reed or Chantal for their weight. It's not really about the weight, because I know that's a symptom of severe either personality disorder, mental disease, mental illness, food addiction, binge eating, any amalgam of the above. I'm not judging, I just wish that they would stop making it a freaking game and a circus sideshow and a way to manipulate an audience. And I hope you guys will tell me if you ever think I'm using my mental issues, issues being such an umbrella term, right, to manipulate you guys. I don't want pity. All I ever really want is a little bit of understanding from people about like my background and why I wound up with this diagnosis really and why I, I get burned out easy and have a hard time sometimes getting along with certain people. Um, I'm going to have to learn to pace myself and prioritize myself and, and really take my therapist's advice because um, I think I mentioned to you guys he's going he's gonna to try to hook me up with a caseworker like a social worker who can really dig into my PTSD even more than he can. And once we figure out like my official diagnosis and meds and stuff, um, I'll probably be able to qualify for some kind of SI um, disability because God knows over the years I've paid into the system too. So I'm not sure what I can get from my area, but if I could work half the amount of time I'm working now, um, it'll be a big help. So I just wanted to, to dish some shit on Chantal. Um, I don't really have much to say about Amberlynn Reed because I feel like she's really given up on herself and she's the deepest in denial type person I can even imagine. Um, watching her eat and watching Chantal eat to me is literally no different than seeing a junkie shooting up um, a, a wino in an alley or on a perched up on a fancy bar stool or on a train car like I used to do drinking out of bottles and mixing NyQuil with champagne and drinking the vanilla extract and the witch hazel and like really extreme shit. I just don't see that it's any different. Someone just pulled into our driveway, so I'm going to go. Thanks for listening to me. Talk to you later. Peace.